changing the subject. We essentially need to rearrange the equation. So in this first example, it's asking us to make r the subject. So it means that instead of it being y equals whatever, we're going to make it r equals whatever. So let's first get rid of this x squared terms. Whatever we do to the left hand side, we must do to the right hand side. So we're going to divide both sides by x squared. So it'll be y over x squared equals an eighth r x squared divided by x squared. As you can see, the x squareds will cancel out. We're now left with y over x squared equals an eighth r. This could be represented as y over x squared equals r over 8. So if we want to multiply both sides by 8, we will get rid of the 8 in this denominator. So let's do that. You're going to get 8 y over x squared, which equals r over 8. The 8 here will cancel out, and you will now be left with r equals 8y over x squared. Because there's brackets, I've just multiplied 8 to everything in the brackets, so 8 times y is just 8y. That is the answer for this. Let's now make x the subject. Very similar to what we did in the last example, we'll multiply everything by 8 to get rid of this um, eighth on the right hand side. So let's do 8y will equal an eighth rx squared or multiplied by 8. This will cancel out this eighth which leaves us with 8y equals rx squared. If we divide both sides by r these will cancel out and we'll be left with x squared equals 8y over r. However, this isn't leaving it in terms of x on its own. It's being left as x squared. So to get rid of this squared, we would just square root both sides. So if we do a square root here and a square root here, this would then become x, which equals the square root of 8y over r, because a square root of a squared number cancels each other out. So we've now successfully made x the subject.